I welcome you guys to the Make IT Simple YouTube channel. This video is a continuation to my previous video which is learning about Python. If you didn't go through my previous video, just go through it and come back to this video. I have given the video link in the description section. In this video, I am going to explain about list methods or list functions. There are some operations that we can perform on the list. Let's get into the example. I have already created a file with the name list methods, the extension of py. I will declare a variable called numbers with some random numbers, some bunch of numbers like 5, 8, 6, 2, and 3. Now, there are a number of things we can do with this list. We can add a new item to the list, remove existing item, and check for an existence of an item. These are the operations we can perform the list. How to do that is like just with a variable numbers with a variable name called numbers and by using the dot operator you can able to see the list of methods or functions that is applicable to the list you can able to see so i want to append some number to the list for that what i can do is like i can make use of append so i i'm just make use of adding a number 20 so it will add a new item to the list i am just typing the number print of numbers that's it now let's run this program what will do is like it will, it will be adding the number at the end of the list but what if i want to add the number in the middle of the list or at the beginning for that what we have to do is like we need to use the method called insert let's see i'm just completing this piece of code and i make use of insert dot insert and if you notice over here in the tooltip there are two parameters it will accept one is index and another one is called the value we need to pass. The index is I need to append at the first index. So it will be 0 and I am adding the number 89. That's it. Now let's run this program. We will see. See 89 is appended at the first. That is 0 index. So we can also remove an item from the list with the help of remove method. Let's see. I am just commenting this piece of code again. And numbers dot remove so it will take the value like direct value suppose i want to remove the 8 means i just give the value 8 let's see see it's removed the 8 from the list suppose if you want to remove all the item from the list means you can call clear method i'm just committing this one again and if i want to clear all the items from the list you can make use of clear method that's it if you make clear means it will remove all the items from the list See, it, it's showing the empty list. Just again com committing it out. And we also have another useful method called pop. By using this pop, what it will do is like it will remove the last item in the list. Let's see numbers dot pop. That's it. And now I am uh, again running this code means it will remove the item which is at the last index. Like 3 has been removed. Suppose if you want to remove at the particular index means you can pause the particular index. For example, I want to pass, I want to remove from the first index, like 0 means it will be removing the value from the first index, like now it is printing 8623 only. I am just committing this piece of code again. Suppose if you want to check the existence of an item, particular values there are not in the list, you can call the index method, numbers dot index, index of 5. What it will do is like, it will return the index of the first occurrence of the item, let us see. And just make use of numbers of index control print of numbers of index i am just removing this extra parenthesis see it is printing zero so it will what will do is like it will return the index of the first occurrence of the item the first occurrence the index of i is zero what if we pass the number that is not in the list? Say, for example, I am passing 54. Let's see what is happening over here. It is throwing an error. So we are not use this index method at some point of time. There are also other way to check the existence of an item in the list, which is you can use in operator. So what is this in operator? We earlier we use the in operator with a string to check the existence of a character in a string or sequence of characters. Here we are using for the number. Let's see. I am just make use of in operator. Print. 
54 in numbers that's it now what will happen is here is like it will return the boolean value like whether it is there or not 54 is not there so it is written false i'm check making use of three i'm just checking over here again running the code it's showing the true so we will get the output in boolean value so unlike index method this in operator doesn't generate the error so it is safer to use we also have another method for counting the occurrence for counting the occurrence of an item let's say you have another item uh, another item in the list called 5 now i want to count how many uh, items in the list will have 5 so we can use of we can make use of count for example i can make use of print of numbers dot count i can make use of count and i can pass the number like which is the value 5 so if i execute this means it will return like how many occurrence it is there the number 5 is there it is showing us two occurrence this is some pretty much useful method like count method suppose i want to sort the list how can i sort the list there is also the useful method called numbers dot sort and just make use of print again and numbers dot sort i want to sort it with the some values if i am running this means what will show you let's see see it is displaying none none is the object in the python that represents the absence of value so the sort method doesn't return any value it simply sort the list so what we can do is like just remove this print and then we can print this number let's see see here it is sorting the value like 2 3 5 5 6 8 it is sorting the method and now all the items are sorted in the ascending order we can also sort the item in the descending order so after we sort the list right we can make use of reverse method so it simply reverse the list let's see numbers dot reverse that's it now it will reverse it will print in the descending order see here 8 6 5 5 3 2 it is printing the reversing order and then uh, one last method i want to explain is like the copy method what the copy method will do is like it will copy the list to the another variable let's see i am just declaring another variable called numbers of 2 equal to number dot copy so this will copy this original list to the another variable copy that's it so if you make any changes in that to the original list like in the numbers if you make any changes means like add or remove an item this operation doesn't impact in our second list let's see for example in the numbers right in the original list numbers i'm just inserting some item inserting an item at the index 0 comma i will be inserting at some item with 55 56 somewhat and what i'm doing is like i'm just printing the both the list numbers 2 and uh, numbers let's see what's happening over here so executing it over here see numbers 2 doesn't have any impact only the original list will have some impact so these are all the operations that we can perform in the list like we can add a new item or remove an item or we can check the existence of an item and sorting an order and copy the list so if you have any doubts on this concept or implementing this just add it in the comment section i'll be very happy to help you guys thank you all for watching my video have a good day